Hello everyone, this is Anam Shiraz and you are watching Maxco Tech Learning. I am back with another video, with this time we will be focusing on implementing the AWS Lambdas. I already gave an introductory video previously in which where we uh, looked at what is a standard server and how does a serverless is different with the standard servers, uh, serverless concepts, how they work and how they handle loads, their limitations, pros and cons, and when and when not to use them. So if you have missed that video, do check that out. The link is at the top right corner. Whereas in this video, we are going to be building serverless web application using AWS Lambdas and AWS Gateway API through which we are going to send the request to the Lambda. So let's get started. To deploy the web apps on AWS Lambdas and making them serverless, we are going to use the framework called Serverless, which is an open source tool that simplifies the development and deployment of serverless applications across various cloud providers. Leveraging event-driven architecture, it enables the developers to focus solely on writing the code without the need of server management. All it needs is one simple YAML file, which we are going to look at later, through which the developers can deploy serverless functions and associated services effortlessly. Install serverless framework on your machine. All the install instructions are available on the website over here. The link will be in the description. And then you also need Node.js. For that, you just run these commands. And finally, we are first going to create the app on our machine and test it locally before we deploy on Lambdas. So for that, uh, we're gonna create a virtual environment in our machine. And for that, we'll just add a requirement.txt file. So the web, web app that we'll be building is uh, through using Flask web framework. And then additional bits that you require is uh, RISQ and markup space. Let's go ahead and install these uh, requirement files in our uh, virtual environment. Uh, remember, my virtual environment was created automatically by the PyCharm. If uh, you don't have uh, yours, then you have to create first. Now let us go ahead and create a Python file, call it as app.py and providing the very basic minimalistic uh, Flask app uh, that you must already be familiar with. If not that, I would recommend to watch some basic Flask tutorials first. Uh, so we are importing Flask and run a template. Uh, we initialize the app and then uh, we take the configs from uh, config. So we are going to uh, create a similar directory over here. So I have configs, the development, and I'm providing all of the app configs from here. Then for the start, I'm just providing two routes. One is the home and one is uh, hello. Whereas in the home, we are going to return the index.html file. So let us go ahead and create one. So this index.html file is a very basic uh, HTML code that uses bootstrap, containing some basic logo and some drop down menu and then uh, we'll just have one hello world mentioned in the center uh, that requires a style.css file. So let us go ahead and add that in here, CSS styles. And we also need some images. Uh, in this case, I have one background image, one logo image. So yeah, that, that should be pretty much it, I guess. So let us go ahead and test this out. Run. Nice. As you can see, we have a very basic Flask web application with the hello world mentioned and header that has dropped down menu and your company's logo. So all good so far. Now let us go ahead and uh, deploy this web app over the Lambda. So for that, first of all, we are going to install some dependencies uh, for serverless framework, config space and repositories. So before deploying, make sure you install the required plugins. So yeah, these are the plugins that you need. So these plugins, uh, all it does is that it converts uh, this Flask app to be run as a serverless application. Right, of course, um, I think, yeah, what it's saying is that you have to have a serverless uh, YAML file in this directory before you can run or install any of these plugins. So this is how our serverless.yaml file will look like. Uh, we'll mention the service name framework version and uh, packages. Uh, we mentioned to exclude the VN and node modules. And uh, we are mentioning that which cloud provider it is, in this case, AWS, uh, providing the stage and any uh, environment variables that you want to pass in here, uh, providing which runtime we need, in this case, Python 3.9. 
So here we are providing the definition of the lambdas function. And then we are also providing the custom app route. Uh, in this case, the name of the app is uh, app.app. .app. So in this case, app is this app.py file underneath which we have app, which is uh, this one, right? I'll tell you about this later in this video. And we are also asking to install some additional plugins. Uh, so in this case, these two plugins helps uh, to convert this Python Flask app into a serverless app, to put it in simple words. So now let's go ahead and run the same command again, uh, install plugin, serverless whiskey. It shouldn't complain this time. Installed and do the same for the second one, serverless Python requirements. The name of the service because uh, I had an existing service with the same name, so it would conflict. Uh, so basically this is just the name of the stack that you are going to provide. So in this case, Flask, Lambdas, YouTube, and I think it's going to suffix it with the stage name as well. So yeah, uh, let us go ahead and deploy this. I'm just gonna say serverless deploy, and in this case, I'm just gonna provide my AWS uh, profile as well. So let's see. Right, so it seems like it has deployed it successfully and it has also provided us this API gateway endpoint as well. Um, so before uh, testing it out, I would like to show you what happened at the back of the scene. So um, if you look at these files here, you can see it's created this uh, directory dot serverless. And this is where um, the current state of uh, our cloud infrastructure is present as well. So I'm going to show you what happened on the cloud. So um, on here, so if you refresh this, uh, as you can see, so this serverless framework just created a new bucket for us, Flask, Lambdas, YouTube. In this bucket, uh, it's uh, what it does is actually dumps all of the code. So in, in a zip file, and that's what we mentioned when we were providing here, zip equals true and slim equals true. So we have the state file, we have the code, and we have the cloud formation stack as well. So if you look at um, cloud formation, you should see this stack just recently got deployed, Flask, Lambdas, YouTube, Dev, and um, yep. And now if you look at Lambdas, if you refresh, you will see a new Lambda here, Flask Lambdas YouTube Dev API. So this is the Lambdas that got created. And if you look at this Lambda, you would see this is our Lambda and it's uh, triggered through an API gateway. Now, if you click that, uh, so this is the API gateway that is created for us. And it has this default endpoint. So if you click this, voila, you see, it just redirected to our Flask app homepage. And yes, we can see our web app completely serverless. So just to recap, what happened is that uh, we hit this endpoint and this API gateway then triggers this Lambda. So that's what this image shows. The trigger for this Lambda is this API gateway. And uh, when this request comes into Lambdas, uh, what this serverless uh, does at the back of the scene is, uh, you know, through this serverless whiskey, uh, it just converted this entire Flask app into serverless framework so that uh, every route that we are mentioning in our Flask app is handled separately uh, through API gateway. And that request is being sent to lambdas and which comes over here and uh, whatever logic we are defining here is uh, executed. So in this case, we are just returning the index.yml file and let us go ahead and try the hello as well. So I'm going to say hello. There you go. You can see hello world. So yeah, that was pretty much simple as well as interesting stuff. So, so this was still a beginning. Uh, in the next uh, videos, we are going to look at some advanced things like how you can add layers on lambdas and how you can, um, uh, you know, set uh, the destinations as well. So yes, that is it for now, I guess. So I hope it was helpful and informative for you guys. And if it was, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you are new to this channel. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.